Let's take a look at some of the techniques we can use to play the instrument with Ableton Live. Live is a powerful loop-based DAW, and we'll be using it to do a bit of live overdubbing, some live looping, we'll be using the instrument to trigger clips and modulate effects. Before we dive in though, let's make sure that our settings are all adjusted properly. In the Instrument 1 editor, we need to ensure that the MIDI mode is set to multi-channel. We also want the pitch bend range to be set at 12. I'm gonna be using tilt in this demo too, so make sure that tilt is set to on. In live, if you open up the preferences and navigate to the link MIDI tab, I just wanna check and make sure that the instrument one's track and remote toggles are both set to on. I like to start with drums, lay down some rhythm before we build anything else on top of it. So I'll start there. Let's arm the drum track and I'll put the instrument on the drum preset, which is a padded method preset. So I'll press the session record button and just get a simple rhythm down for now. Let's, uh, add some overdubs on top of that, give it some, some flair. How about we record a synth part now? I will arm the synth track and I'll use the instrument's piano preset this time. Same technique as before. I'll hit the session record button and get a loop going. How about we add another clip for some variety? I've also got a vocal sample here, and I've added Live's echo effect to this sample, which gives it a lot of character, dynamic quality, especially this feedback dial. I'd love to be able to modulate that using the instrument. So I'm gonna map that dial to the instrument's tilt function. I'll enter MIDI map mode, Click the feedback dial, and Live makes this really easy. You just tilt, and now it's mapped to the instrument one. You can exit MIDI map mode, and let's see if this is working. I'd also really like to take advantage of the instrument's MPE capability. That's MIDI polyphonic expression. And it basically means that you can apply effects like slide and aftertouch to notes independent of one another. To set Ableton up to receive this expanded information, we'll need to create six instances of the synth track that we wanna use. Each instance of the track is going to correspond to one of the six string triggers on the instrument's fingerboard. Each of these strings corresponds to channels two through seven. The low E is two, A is three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'll duplicate this synth so that there are six instances of it. And I'll need to change the channel for each one to the corresponding string. So the first one will be channel two, second one, three. And now we arm all six of them together. User preset two on the instrument is a sliding preset. So I'm gonna use that. There's one more thing I wanna do before we start playing. I'm gonna map each of these clips to one of the bridge triggers so I can launch them while I'm playing in the moment. So I'll enter MIDI map mode, select each clip, put drums on the low E. 
first synth on the high E, second synth on the B trigger, and I'll put the vocal on G. I'll also map the stop button to one of these bridge triggers as well, so I can kill the audio in the moment, pause the track. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna up the tempo a little bit. Try this out. 